Happy Thanksgiving! Look what we're making. We've got collard greens, lamb shanks, taters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're fogging it. Lamb shanks, Excited. bottle of red wine, carrots, onion, paprika, cinnamon. We put it in the oven for three hours. Looks good. Just pulled it, and the uh, I'm excited the collard for these greens collards. have been have been uh, boiling for about an hour and a half. Simmering with some bacon in there. Bacon in there, onion, garlic. I'm excited for these. Maybe a drizzle of vinegar over our own. Yum. There we go. We are back in Boston after the holiday. It was really nice to be able to spend it with some of my family. It was a very small, intimate Thanksgiving. So now we are back in action in Boston. It is quite cold here. We are adjusting to the cooler temperatures and really just trying to get back into the swing of things after so much travel over the past couple of weeks. So I'm definitely feeling it. Eating all the holiday foods, Kind of falling out of a consistent exercise routine and my body is definitely feeling it too as well as my mental health i don't know what it is about november but i feel like this is always the month where my mental and physical health take a huge hit so in today's video i really want to focus on health and how we can find small ways to care for ourselves and optimize our health as graduate students or young professionals particularly during the holidays season. So starting off this morning, I fast walked on the treadmill for 15 minutes. Now you might be wondering why only 15 minutes. I find that when I'm trying to get back into a consistent exercise routine or start moving my body more, it's best to start off small. We don't want to overwhelm ourselves. We do not want to discourage ourselves. We want to just give ourselves a little bit of a taste of more movement so that we can feel good and ideally crave it again the next day. It's not easy to get into an exercise routine by any means. And so for me this week, I am starting off small. I'm fast walking 15 minutes and then stretching afterward. It's not easy to get up in the morning out of bed. It is cold. We are tired. The sun isn't up yet. It's a challenge. One way that I help myself meet that challenge is by watching YouTube videos while I exercise. I'll even start a YouTube video before I get out of bed, put in my AirPods, and that kind of helps to motivate me and get me going. I also start off in the morning by taking my vitamins. November is always a hard time. Time. we deal with the time change it gets darker sooner so I like to supplement with some vitamins currently I am taking a liquid multivitamin every morning I also take a vitamin that I have noticed really helps with my mental health it helps to relieve some of those symptoms of anxiety that I can experience I mentioned in a recent video that I experimented with a new probiotic that did not agree with me so this may be the case for you. You always want to consult with your doctor if you're unsure. For me, this Frisca digestive enzyme has been really helpful in keeping me consistent and I haven't noticed any negative side effects from it. So I'm gonna stick with this one for the time being. I also am starting to take a hair vitamin. So getting back to the topic of health for young professionals and graduate students, I have dealt with a lot of hair loss over the years. For me, it started in undergrad and I was dealing with a lot of stress then and then it has kind of persisted. Definitely ebbs and flows, but I can tell when I'm going through a really stressful time because I start to lose a lot more hair, deal with a lot more shedding. And I can really see the signs of this around my hairline. So I recently picked up this hair health kit from New & Co. 
It comes with a few different products, a hair vitamin, a serum that you can put throughout your hair before you shower, and then a shampoo and conditioner. I used that when I washed my hair two days ago, so this is actually third day hair and it still feels fresh. I am so impressed by that. The new co provides inner outer health solutions that are backed by science. Their ingredients are sourced ethically and sustainably, and their products are developed with peer-reviewed research in mind. I will keep you updated on my experience with this hair vitamin. I have high hopes, of course, and I think Sam is going to take it too because he also dealt with the negative effects of getting a doctorate, which I know for some of us is hair loss. So that's what I've done this morning. I took a shower, got myself ready for the day. Still in a comfy outfit. I've got my old navy sweats on but I went ahead and put on a little bit of makeup and now I have a meeting any minute. So I've got a few different meetings today, not stacked. I have some time blocks between, but I'm meeting with my advisor this morning to review the manuscript revisions that I shared. And then I have an RAM meeting with and then a prospective student who's interested in learning a little bit more about the university that I am at. So that is my plan for today. I will check back in with you all in a bit. We're headed to go get our Christmas tree today. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So that's exciting. Probably a little early for the tree, but we won't have time to enjoy it. And yeah, that's what I don't think it's that early. Do you, how tall do you want it to be? Probably shorter than me. I agree completely. I don't think we want like a big tree. No, I've come to realize that I prefer a shorter tree, something a little bit smaller. I don't mind if it has a little bit of body to it though. Sure. I feel like I kind of like ugly trees. Last year was our first year getting a real tree in Boston and the branches, like the type of tree it is, the branches stuck up a bunch. Like yeah, they never relaxed. Really we will see if that's what happens again this we year. Sure will. Are we going in the same lot or do you yeah, want to? I think so. All right. <laughs> We've arrived. Christmas City. Okay. Oh, Christmas City. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> it's a cutie for sure. This is an animal tree. Aww. They're babies. I have 10 fun facts about goats. Hi. Cute. Hello. Hello. Don't lose any fingers. I know, right? I think they're expecting food I from think you. They are too. <laughs> how they ship them or just how they grow. With the leaves straight up. We have the premium Fraser here, six to seven feet. Only ninety one ninety eight <laughs> here in Massachusetts. What a steal. What a steal. Paying a hundred bucks for a tree. I mean really. Here she is. All right, friends, it is chilly night. I absolutely love this recipe because it is so easy, simple, and it makes enough for two nights at minimum. I like to cut it in half, but you could go for the full amount and it will probably feed you all week. What are you doing? <laughs> Reviewing an abstract for my advisor. You're going to start by sauteing some onion and poblano. You could also use bell pepper or jalapeno here. And then go ahead and add your bison. You could use ground beef as well. I prefer bison. You want to brown this. And once it's browned, you're going to add your spices. Chili powder, cumin. I did a little bit of oregano and some onion and garlic powder. Go ahead and get that all incorporated. Then add your tomato paste and then your diced tomatoes with their juices and about a cup of water, depending on how liquidy you like your chili. After cooking that with it covered, simmering for about an hour, you'll add your kidney beans, let it go for another half hour or so. We like to top ours with cilantro, green onion, sour cream, and of course, a tortilla chip. I mean, come on, you gotta have it. Good. It's very good. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning. I am still in bed. Sam just left. I'm about to get myself up out of here. I have quite a few tasks that I need to complete today. I need to send emails to RAs that I've been putting off. I want to integrate suggested revisions from one of my advisors into that manuscript revision so I can send off to my other advisor, hopefully get some feedback from her before I submit it. The due date is in a couple of weeks. And then... I need to edit this vlog and get it uploaded because I want to upload it and publish it hopefully by tonight. We went and got our Christmas tree yesterday, so that was exciting and it makes the house really cozy. I made chili last night, which was delicious and helpful knowing that dinner is taken care of tonight. If you can implement two-nighter meals throughout your week so a meal that can feed you for two nights as compared to just one i highly recommend it it just helps so much i feel so much better when i'm eating at home also you save money it's just a win-win thought i would take a second to pop on here and check in it is almost noon and i've been working since this morning um i Let's see, what have I done? I responded to several emails that I'd kind of been putting off and then realized that I had a meeting with an RA, so I did that. And then I was able to finalize integrating comments from one of my advisors on the manuscript revision I've been working on, finalized the response letter to reviewers and got it off to my other advisor to review. So hopefully I've given her enough time for that. I did the best that I could, you know how it is. So, I'm thankful I've gotten that off. I'm about to make myself some lunch. I'm gonna do a salad with some chicken that we prepped earlier in the week. I'm so tired today. I've been tired all week. I think um, it's everything. It's the point in the semester that we're at. It's the changing of the weather. It's preparing for the holidays. It's stress about stuff with the family and I think kind of going through early grief um and yeah i won't get into too much of that but please excuse my energy and my appearance because i'm definitely quite tired today so i'm gonna make myself a salad right now have some food i think that'll help me feel a little bit better maybe have some tea and then i'm going to get to editing this vlog because i would like to get it up tonight Another thing I wanted to mention here because I did share it over on my Instagram is I know that PhD applications are coming up for a lot of you. So I know some are due on the 1st, um, but some are due on the 15th. And then I'm sure there's others that are due at different times. But I have been helping to review PhD grad school applications on the side. If you are interested, I will put a link down in the description where you can fill out and submit a form letting me know. And then I will reach back out to you and share my rates and everything like that. It is expedited services. I like to have a quick turnaround, want to help you out with that. So if you are interested, it will be there for you. Let's make some lunch. Here is the finished salad. It is a little bit of lettuce that we had left over, like some mixed greens, some diced apple, chicken, walnuts, some blue cheese, and then just some balsamic and olive oil, a little bit of pepper. So that is my lunch. I'm going to clean all this up and then enjoy this. <sighs> and get to editing this vlog. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it more than you know. I hope you're doing well and keeping calm throughout 
this end of semester, end of the year, holiday season. I hope you found something you could relate to throughout this video, something that helped to motivate or inspire you, maybe some helpful tips that you could implement into your own day today. I would love to know what you are doing throughout this season to try and promote health. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.